Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tanmachi season 3 episode 1. Okay, so before I start I'm going to say that this will include an opening reaction as well. So I have the like uh, the time uh, like the time uh, stamp in, in the comment section below. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, click on the time stamp and it will like it will be taken to that portion. So and uh, keep in mind like this is like a timer reaction obviously like I'm not going to include any sounds uh, because copyright is like a major pain <laughs> in the ass so like I'm I'm not going, going to do go uh, my uh, my channel got striked previously but like before because I tried like including sounds and all and obviously because I am not good at editing so I was unable to stop that so no sounds like the way I do the rea edit uh, like uh, episode reactions i'm going to do the openings that way as well so you guys can go check that out if i've come for that only so and if you guys want to like check my reactions so i'm going to talk about it now like obviously i've not done any done much reactions before because like i've already watched it so i'm not going to do that so season three is new so i'm going to do it now and uh, like i'm going to like talk about my like my basic impression of danmachi in itself and like i have to say one thing that uh, obviously the main thing like uh, who is uh, like going to uh, like uh, who do do you like the most obviously bell is like an amazing protagonist i really like his character and like uh, he's a unique type of uh, main character i really like that and season one was phenomenal and people say that season two like many of them did not enjoy that because uh, obviously because it was not based on the dungeon and more like uh, stuff with the human people like for example uh, the thing with that war game and then uh, that ishtar thing that happened so a lot of people were like did not like that part but i enjoyed it i really enjoyed like freya <laughs> slapping off ishtar <laughs> down <laughs> damn that was hilarious and so many good like things uh, we met haruhime and everyone so i enjoyed it i like enjoyed it uh, a lot more than other people say and uh, i have to say one thing that um, like i love hestia so much and I really want Bell to end up with Hestia, but that does not mean that I do not like Ice. I like Ice like the same uh, amount as Hestia, but Hestia is a little bit more. And I would really uh, like uh, prefer Hestia uh, like ending up with Bell uh, other than Ice. But I doubt that's going to happen because like in the second season we were like like there was an episode where we understood that as they said like gods and goddesses are like uh, want to like shower their children with love and like uh, i think it was mihak or like takema kazuchi one of them one of them uh, told bell that uh, you should accept your goddess's love as as it is like you should not like uh, think about all of the different difficult stuff like yeah like is this like some kind of romantic love or something else you do not think about it just accept it uh, the, the God, it is like natural for the goddess and god gods and goddesses to love their children and there are also like people like gods and goddesses who have like ended up with the children as well uh, and like that is not something that is unusual so like by that i don't know i i really feel as if like they're like uh, as it as the uh, like an anime goes on or the light novel goes on uh, i really don't know i i'm thinking as if like they're going to like uh, make eyes the main uh, heroine uh, not hestia because hestia is more like a mother figure a goddess uh, even though she loves bell uh, like romantically as well but i don't know so like I don't know, I, I would not mind Ice getting together with uh, Belle, but um, I would be a little more, a bit more happier if like Hestia ends up with him. So that's the main thing. And uh, so yeah, that was like my main impression. And like um, the main thing that, that I wanted to share with you guys about uh, Danmachi and my previous like uh, things. I, I really enjoyed this show a lot. Uh, I've played Danmachi and Memory of Freeze for a, quite a few times. Uh, like uh, earlier but I like discontinued it so I'm like I'm a bit more like biased towards Danmachi a little bit more than other animes like I really like it a lot more so yeah guys so uh, like this was my like a little introduction five minutes I'm talking about that so yeah it's time to like jump into the uh, reaction itself episode number one 
so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number one of season three of Dan Maj. okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go Okay, so we saw this a little bit uh, in the previous. So this is a monster, isn't it? Like a humanoid monster, something like that. Wow, Bell's costume, damn. Fever. Okay, so the thing is called a weaver. Queen, dragon's daughter. Yeah, she looks a lot like a dragon, like those scales and like her eyes and uh, ears. Damn. Bell is, I think, level 3 now, isn't he? And he has that, like, uh, red shawl. It, it saves him from fire. Like, fire resistance. Oh, boy. Oh, no, oh, no, the hand oh boy well Okay. Oh, everyone's here. Oh, Harim is here as well. Nineteenth floor. Hmm. Well, that's his job, picking up girls. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. Um, okay. Oh boy, she can talk as well. Yeah, like, we have never heard any of the monsters here talk, did you? So it's more like a humanoid kind of monster. I don't know. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's a thing with um, all of the laws and everything. Well, it's just you have to hide her. 
like not let others know no yep i i'm thinking about how, how will hestia react endowed with intelligence hmm Okay. Oh. <laughs> and it's best yeah. Okay, she's taking it a lot well. Like I thought she would be probably. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hmm. No, <Okay>. can. <laughs> What the hell type of name is that? Oh, okay. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of difficult to remember. Ween. Okay, that's a weird name. Well, she's happy about it. So, is like other weavers like their race like her, like humanoid? We have to like. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's like in her instincts, yeah, like the instincts of being fearful towards monster. Stole some armor. Okay, so that's the monster. Okay. <laughs> she can speak a lot better now. Okay. Um calm down <laughs> Who is this? Oh, is this Lily like in her disguise? I think so.
Oh, this girl. I forgot her name. Like, she was... Mother. <laughs> well... God damn. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, so this is not Lily. Okay. I thought that uh, some someone else. Okay, so I think I don't think this is Lily. I thought this was Lily most probably, but she said that uh, another group that that is uh, Bell's group, isn't it? She, she should probably like trim her nails too long no so why is she blushing like that what the hell <laughs> Oh no, okay. Oh, okay, well, you should probably trim the nails, as I said before. Mm, as I said before, you should trim those nails. Um, those are pretty long. Oh no, who is this? No oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Damn, so good food. Well,
<laughs> well, that's because she's a goddess. <laughs> okay, we're just feeding her. <laughs> Well, you have to be careful about it, like, uh, so that others don't... Mm. <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> oh, okay. Um Okay. <laughs> well, What's he doing? <laughs> um, that's not what you should. <laughs> Thank God. I was thinking like they should probably like trim those nails. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Um <laughs> Oh my god, his is Um Okay. Well, yeah, there must be some kind of some secrets.
<laughs> well, she's taking an opportunity to sleep with Will. <laughs> yep. I think like monsters have some kind of like uh, like a mental kind of thing which makes them act as monsters. Like they can't control themselves or something like that. Red and dark. Well, Hestia must know something about this because technically she's a goddess. Okay. I'm thinking like, wh was that Lily or someone else? I think it was someone else. Like is Ikelos familiar? Okay, so this is the opening. Damn, I really hope that this series continues in the future as well. Wow. Okay, there's some dragons I can see. Well, obviously, Win is there, so there must be dragons. Okay, the song is... Oh, we can, we'll see, I think her name was Aisha, wasn't she? We'll see them then. Who the hell is this? So this will be more like fighting in the dungeons and all, isn't it? Damn, that lizard. Wow, that harpy and all. Wasn't that the harpy? Yeah. Okay, so they'll oh my god, this is gonna be good. Like so Bell is going to fight with with the monster alongside the monsters. And Ice is here, like oh great. So I can see where this is going. Okay, the song was nice as well. Damn, okay. Okay, that was a really good opening. Um I really loved uh, like uh, season two opening and uh, this opening as well. Okay, so is that the end? Yeah. Okay, uh, so about the opening, like uh, the things that we saw, uh, all the monsters and all, and obviously like Vina is there. So I think like uh, something like this is going to happen. Like uh, they'll probably like um, Bell is probably going to like ally with the monsters or something, and. Uh, and obviously like uh, there is like a thing here that uh, people do not like monsters and all so like we saw eyes there uh, like holding um, that weapon towards bell so like this will be um, what can i say so like this will be like the pro proper fight between eyes and bell for the first time i i guess so yeah yeah and the song was great as always and uh in the like i really loved uh, i have to say this like i'm being honest with you guys uh season one opening i really did not like at like that much but season two opening i really loved it and obviously the like the visuals and all as well uh season three opening this one 
uh, is like uh, like uh, it has a lot of similarity with op like season two opening so obviously i'm liking this one as well so yeah this is like one of uh, what can i say i expected this from dan machi and like yeah they uh they did a good opening it, like uh, i enjoyed it it was quite nice and okay so that was about the opening uh <coughs> i'll talk about the episode now so um okay so one thing i'm going to say here first i don't know if i'm correct or uh, incorrect but the pacing is a bit fast i don't know if uh, like this is my like i'm feeling this uh, or, or like this is something that uh, is not the case but uh, it, like it's my mistake but i feel as if like it is like a bit fast paced and i this thing i felt in season 2 as well like it was a lot fast paced like things were happening so quickly and um i think they uh, like covered uh, in, in the second season uh, it was a, a 13 13 episode wasn't it yeah so they covered two arcs like two big arcs um it was and the number one was like uh, the war arc that the war game arc that is like uh, the uh, fight with um, like uh, apollo familia and all and like like in four or five episodes it was like completed i don't know if like the light novel spacing is like that because i've not read the night light novel but like uh, finishing it so quickly i felt as if like uh, and i i think as I, I as far as i can remember like there are people also saying like it was extremely fast paced so i don't know like what they're going to do with this like um, obviously like uh, this is like a new arc and i don't know if they're going to like uh, extend this to 13 episodes or like going to do the same thing with uh, season 2 uh, that is like uh, break uh, like uh, b like add two arcs in a single season if they do that i don't think it is going to be good like the f pacing will be extremely fast because uh, obviously i think like this is going to be a big arc because there is a lot of things happening and uh, i don't know we'll probably see what's going to happen and i also don't know whether this uh, like season is going to be 13 episodes or uh, will be like uh, 24 episodes uh, or 26 episodes i don't know and i don't think that they have like uh, said anything about that uh, just a sec let me check let me just check it like if, if they had like said anything about mm, no episodes unknown okay uh, so i don't know like uh, will this be like uh, 24 26 episodes or like 13 episodes so we'll probably get to know that gradually and uh, okay so uh, in this episode uh, we get a new character um, win and uh, as far as you can see that she is a dragon and as orana said that um, she is like an intelligent monster and uh, by like here's the thing by the term intelligent like it is obviously meaning that the other monsters are not intelligent and like they are not what can i say they are unable to make decisions and this we can like confirm by like the things that Wiener said when she was sleeping she said something like i was like in a like a dream state in a trance state i was like attacking uh, adventurers and like uh, things were becoming red and all and by that i can understand like uh, usually monsters i think like they are like in some kind of like their brain doesn't work like they have like this natural instinct of like killing people and that's just it that instinct is all that is to them and uh, this like uh, kind of like makes uh, uh, like uh, this like Wiener different from the other monsters because Wiener can think and obviously she's intelligent because she can like talk and all and uh, she is like uh, uh, getting accustomed to all of the like words they're saying uh, just like a little baby does like uh, seeing their parents talk and all they uh, become accustomed to the words and like understand and starts to like speak uh, the same language as uh, he or she is hearing from the childhood so this is like a same thing here and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and uh, yeah and uh, so by that I, I can understand like uh, most probably the monsters in this uh, anime at least are like um, what can I say uh, like this mindless type of beast which has like uh, the instinct like the instinct of like killing people uh, that's it uh, and uh, yeah and uh, okay so 
obviously because of that reason people are a lot biased towards monster and here's the thing like uh like I, like just think it about like this um i'm i'm like bringing an, another like uh, anime of, over here as an example think about Ac attack on titan everyone has like uh, seen attack on titans i hope <laughs> obviously and so uh, by that example i'm talking about let's say that uh, like the people they are like uh, afraid of titans and all then suddenly if uh, one of the person brings in a titan and says that she, this is my friend how will the other people react the same thing is here so th this is basically that like people who are like um are, like do not know bell and do not like understand like how he thinks and how he's like kind-hearted and all uh, apart from her fam his familia uh, they like if they get like uh, see that uh, um, he's sheltering a monster that will be same as like in attack on titan if a person was sheltering a titan the same thing because like to them these monsters are like things that are like mindless killing machines they kill people just like that and this is uh, like this so this will be a big problem if this gets out and by the opening i can understand i can also like understand that this is going to be a big deal because ice and everyone is like against him so i don't know what bell is going to do and obviously uh, because he is like uh, like soft hearted and all he like previously even uh, like in season 1 he forgave gave lily that lily who like betrayed him like uh, almost like two times and uh, he forgave her and uh, saved her from that one. so like bell is that type of character and uh, like uh, the thing uh, uh, what can i say um like he understands the like uh, sorrow of uh, like everyone's and like he basically is kind hearted and all so as i said and <clears throat> so this is going to be a problem if like people other than his familia gets to know Ob uh, obviously like, I, I was kind of surprised like uh, uh mikoto uh, told takeme kazuchi and nihak about that so i don't know like i thought like they, they'll like probably keep this under wraps but i don't know like if she only told them or like their familiar knows as well i think they, she has only told them gods about that not their familiar because like the fami familiar people would like freak out if they hear something like this so yeah and uh, so yeah this is like an interesting start and uh, this uh like uh, we know this uh dragon like she looks a lot like dragon obviously because of her like ears and uh, <clears throat> like those scales uh, the, like definitely those scales uh like they they like that's the scales that dragons have and <clears throat> okay another thing in this episode um was that elf that was uh talking with the bartender and like um the other girl i forgot her name uh from the hermes family um i thought that was lily number one now i'm still not uh, like uh, what can i say sure whether it was lily or someone else like who was asking for those information because obviously lily has that disguise uh, like that thing that he technique that she does with disguise and like we saw everyone uh, asking for like what can i say information on all and uh, <coughs> <coughs> well mikoto and all of them but we did not see lily so i am thinking like uh, so th like that was my first uh, like thing that i thought that was this lily but i might be wrong i uh, i th i think i am wrong because i don't know like uh, that did not seem as if it was lily but anyways um like i will probably get to know that later on and uh, like who that person was like was it actually lily or someone else uh, anyways um and uh, okay and then we get to that portion where like uh, win accidentally hurts bell and uh, yeah like uh, they should definitely like dress her up and like groom her and all because and like hide those ears if they like uh, want to take her out or like want to um like uh, like even if some people comes in front of her they do not recognize her instantly so yeah and like thank god they, they trimmed her nails like that was really uncomfortable looking at like such long nails and like doing stuff like that like <laughs> i was freaking out all the time <laughs> like uh okay and then um okay then we get a little bit of like <laughs> fan service <laughs> damn no one like um no one complains about fan service and neither do i so yeah that was a good bonus and uh, <laughs> then um 
what happens uh, just a sec uh, okay and then they like talk about uh, like their impression about the monsters and all and uh, Hestia and all were like sleeping together and then uh, the thing that happens is like excuse me like Hermes we see Hermes like like uh, looking at a scroll of paper or something like I think Oranus like gave him some kind of a mission and all and some kind of task to do and uh, I'm guessing that um, that scroll contains like Venus face or something like it is like some kind of a wanted poster or something just my guess and that uh, like probably that will be the case because like they're looking for win and uh, and later on like uh, oh no just a sec wait a minute wait a minute I might be wrong that might not be winner just a sec let me just check one thing mm. uh, I, I'm just looking at that Oh no, that might be Vina. Anyways, I'm I'm not uh, like uh, getting too much into that because probably we'll get to know it in the next few episodes. What's uh, going to happen? And uh, just a sec. Okay, and she, he said something. Ikelos familia. So, like, wait a minute. So, just a sec. Um. He says something about Ikelos family. So is this like some kind of um, family who, who is uh, connected to Vina? I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm not getting too much into this because like this is not a deduction anime. <laughs> and I'm like, this is like my bad habit of like deducing each and everything. Trying to understand what happens even if like it is going to be revealed later on anyways i'm not going to think about it much more uh, basically i think like that is like some kind of a wanted poster or something uh, most probably like uh, a task for uranus for them to do and like uranus previously also said something like uh, let's see uh, like what happens to like this situation and how they are going to handle this so this is more like a test i think for them to see like uh, whether monsters and the humans are able to like um what can i say uh stop the like like live together peacefully or something like that so uh, yeah he says something like this like whether Hestia family uh, family uh, Hestia's family can become their hope or not uh, so this must be something like that like this is like some kind of test and like Oranos is testing them to see whether like <clears throat> they're able to handle the situation properly or not so yeah and another thing is like when they were talking about the monster thing with Wiene and like Belle was sleep like uh, laying down and Wiene and Hestia was also there. <coughs> like uh, she was uh, like talking about how she felt and all like how monsters feel <coughs> and Hestia was listening to it and I think like um, most probably the gods have some kind of information about what like these monsters are or like what like the monster is actually like uh, what are they where they come from and why they come stuff like these so like uh, like Hestia's uh, face was like concerned and like uh, looking uh, what can I say like she, she was like um, putting a concerned face and all and uh, like a sad face so I'm I'm guessing like she, obviously she's the god goddess she knows definitely knows something about this and I think like uh, this is something that is like uh, under like top secret something and should not be uh, told to the mortals uh, in the lower world so like she is like <coughs> forced to keep this under uh, like wraps and as a secret so yeah okay so this was the first episode and yeah it is a good start and uh, like i said this before i am a bit biased towards danmachi i don't know why but i really like and really love this series and like all of the characters and all so even if like uh, there are like people who find some kind of uh, like problem with this or might like hate on it one thing i can say i'll definitely not i i can never hate on dan Machi because like the season one i loved season one so much like it was so good and uh, like i really did not expect it like to become like so good obviously because of that lily arc where like bell saved lily and then the minotaur like the fight with the minotaur like those were so good and i really enjoyed it and season two was great as well like um, I, I especially enjoyed the ishtar um, arc uh, like saving haruhime and 
<laughs> Freya slapping Ishta. <laughs> yeah, that was like my favorite portion. <laughs> like she slapped her and <laughs> made her fall. <laughs> fall down and like like she slapped him into heaven. Like she gave him a tight slap and she just fell down and like went to the heaven and she won't come back again. And <laughs> damn. Okay, so yeah guys, and that was episode number one, my reaction to episode number one. So like uh, I'll be like uh, putting the, the reactions on this day um, and like uh, every week obviously because like this is a weekly uh, thing and so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, <coughs> if you guys just like see my more like more reactions of Nanmachi be sure to like uh, like tune into like in my channel uh, in the same day uh, and I'll like uh, Upload it. Uh, I'll try to upload it at the same time, uh, every day. Uh, not every day, not every week. So yeah, if you guys like are interested, be sure to uh, like come back next week as well. And uh, comment down below anything you want to share with me, anything you want to say about this episode and all. I'll be sure to check them out. And uh, <coughs> anything like <coughs> any kind of opinion you want to share, uh, be sure to comment down below. So yeah, guys, uh, that was episode number one of Danmachi season three. If uh, I'll be back with a new episode next week. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.